Did you know that you can pass obesity on to your kids, whether you're the mom or the dad? Did you know that? Yes, you maybe have heard about the genes being passed from one generation to another, and there are definitely genes that increase the likelihood that you're gonna suffer from obesity either as a kid or as a, an adult. But actually there are things that happen to you while you're developing in your mom's uterus, you know, when she's pregnant, that also can increase your risk, not just for the mom's health. Like we know more about that than we do about what impacts the fetus's health or what then becomes the baby's health. Although we do know there are certain things that happen during pregnancy that can actually put your baby at a higher risk for diabetes or at a higher risk for having obesity uh, as a kid or an adolescent. And before I get started, I gotta say, this isn't to blame anybody. This isn't like telling you as a mom that you did a bad thing because you got pregnant and while you had obesity. Probably didn't even know that that was such a high risk factor because no one ever told you. But it's meant more just to educate folks and like to, again, stress the importance of getting your obesity treated because obesity treatment is obesity prevention. In this case, obesity treatment in the mom is obesity prevention for the fetus or for her kid. And then for the kids, you know, like if you find out that your mom had gestational diabetes when she was pregnant with you, that's just one more thing that puts you as a person at risk for developing obesity. So it's like, don't blame yourself. Just, it sucks, but here we are and let's just do something about it together. By the way, I'm Dr. Evan, pediatric bariatric surgeon who's done more operating for weight management in children than anybody else in this country. Here to help, just giving you my perspective on all this because I think my perspective is a little bit unique in that I really just wanna help people get better and I don't judge how they do it. I just want you to be happy and healthy and get what you need. So there are two basic ways that you can pass obesity on to your children. And I sort of mentioned them already in the, in the first couple sentences. One is your genes. And we've spent uh, some time talking about that. But basically, uh, if you have obesity prone genes, either on the mom's side or the dad's side, they can get passed on to the kid. And then the kid has a higher risk of getting uh, or developing obesity themselves. And that's sort of the nature side of the equation. Then there's the nurture side. What's the nurture side? So. There are certain factors that can get passed on from the mother to the baby that increase the risk of obesity in the baby. One term that we use is, is hypothalamic imprinting, which is a super technical term. But what that means is that everybody has a weight set point that is established in their hypothalamus, which is part of the brain. And if a mother either gains too much weight during pregnancy, has obesity during pregnancy, gets gestational diabetes during pregnancy, and some other things, it makes that weight set point in the fetus's brain develop at a higher set point, which is like something that people struggle with then once they're born for their whole life because that's their hypothalamus, that's their brain. There's nothing they can do about that. Um, it's actually how some of the different medications we use and maybe the surgery that we use work. And I actually did research, have research in my lab that identifies some of these factors that can make that happen, which is why I'm sort of more aggressive about treating that particular issue than some others. I mean, again, I'm not telling any moms out there that they're bad people. I'm just telling you to think about the risk. And I'm telling you if you're a, you know, thinking about getting pregnant, maybe you're not even pregnant yet, but you're just thinking about it. Something to, something to consider having your weight addressed with someone. And same thing goes for your husband, by the way, or your, or your the father of your kid. Like he doesn't get a free pass. He needs to do this with you, not only because if he has weight issues, it means he's got the genes that also predispose to weight increase, but also because all weight management in any family is a family affair. And the more people who are bought in and the more people who are participating, the better it works. So um, men, you are not absolved from any, from participating in this. You gotta get out there and help as well. So that's really just the very bare essence of what's known as the intergenerational transmission of obesity. Again, super technical term. I don't expect you to, to remember it or even use it, but um, it's important. 
And again, I can go into a deeper dive if anybody wants. So put it in the comment box if that's what you want. If you want to hear more. Again, as always, subscribe, like, share, give me feedback. And, you know, the this particular intergenerational transmission of obesity piece, while it sounds esoteric, it's a huge factor in why the obesity epidemic even came to be. And that's what we're going to talk about next time. So tune into the next video if you like what you're hearing. And uh, hopefully I'll see you then.